This is Zeus from Olympus. If you are watching this, keep it to yourself. Greetings, heroes of Dominion. Zeus here with another exciting video. Today marks the first encounter with the new Asgard boss, Maestro's minions. After testing all of them, one minion stood out to me, the soloist known as Horn. This powerful minion plays a crucial role in the upcoming boss battle, starting this Friday. Positioned near Maestro, Horn is a soloist whose abilities can significantly impact your team. In particular, Horn's devastating stun can disable nearby heroes, making it a formidable challenge in the fight. In the official Hero Wars presentation of Maestro's key features, one particular minion stood out, the soloist Horn. According to the developers, Horn stuns nearby heroes, and this stun can only be dispelled through healing, which adds a unique challenge to the fight. Stun is a negative effect that every Hero Wars player is familiar with, and we typically rely on heroes like Sebastian or pets like Chorus to protect our team from such negative effects, including stuns. However, this time the situation is different. After thorough testing, both by myself and several guildmates, it became clear that the stun applied by Soloist Horn cannot be countered by Sebastian or Chorus. We ran multiple tests with various team compositions, specifically focusing on how Chorus and Sebastian interact with Horn's stun. The results were conclusive, Chorus, who is usually reliable for preventing stuns, fails to protect against the stun from Horn. In every test where Chorus was present, the front three heroes were still stunned by Soloist Horn, even though Chorus was in the battle and his anti-negative effect abilities should have been active. To ensure precision, I conducted over 10 tests using the same team configuration, three frontline heroes, Sebastian in the fourth position, and Chorus as the active team pet. Despite Chorus being in the battle, the front three heroes were consistently stunned by Horn's ability. This clearly shows that Chorus is unable to prevent the stun effect caused by Horn, unlike in typical battles where Chorus effectively neutralizes other negative effects. Chorus's passive skill, the Indomitable, allows allies to block specific control effects, such as silence, charm, blinding, stun, and mind control. When one of these effects is blocked, it charges the runes in Chorus Runic Circle. This skill is typically reliable for protecting allies from control-based debuffs. However, in the case of Soloist Horn's stun, it appears that Chorus's ability is unable to block or prevent the stun, despite it being one of the control effects mentioned. This unique interaction with Horn's stun is what makes the encounter so challenging, as it bypasses Chorus's usual protections. As for Sebastian, testing him in this specific encounter has been difficult due to the lower level of the minions and maestro during the first week, around level 65. In my tests, Sebastian kills Soloist Horn before he can use his ultimate, meaning we haven't been able to definitively confirm his ability to counter the stun. However, based on Chorus's inability to counter it, we suspect that Sebastian's usual anti-stun capabilities may also be ineffective here, since Horn's stun has a unique mechanic that healing seems to be the only solution for. What we've learned from this testing is critical, teams relying on the typical anti-stun protection from Chorus or Sebastian should reconsider their approach when facing Maestro and his minions. The usual strategies won't work here, as the soloist Horn's stun bypasses these countermeasures. The only effective way to remove the stun is by having a healer on your team. Heroes like Martha, Thea, or Celeste will become key to overcoming Horn's disabling effect, as they can heal the stun away. Therefore, when building your team composition for the Maestro boss battle, it's advisable to avoid relying on Sebastian and Chorus to prevent stuns. Instead, focus on incorporating strong healers who can keep your team active and remove the stun effect. By adjusting your strategy to this unique mechanic, you'll be better prepared to face Maestro's minions and ensure your team remains effective in battle. 
This battle with the soloist horn minion gives us a clear understanding that Sebastian and Chorus are not viable options for the new meta team against the Asgard boss, Maestro. From this encounter, we've learned that to successfully counter soloist horn and harp, the attacking team must include a healer and a hero capable of applying negative effects. Since we now know that Chorus cannot block the stun applied by Soloist Horn, it opens up the opportunity to utilize other pets that enhance damage or healing in the fight against Maestro. For teams relying on pure damage, Albus stands out as the ideal pet, as his abilities boost pure damage output significantly. On the other hand, teams focused on magic attacks will benefit most from using Merlin, who amplifies magic damage and provides critical support in magic-based compositions. Additionally, it's worth testing Oliver as a potential pet for this battle. Oliver's healing abilities could play a crucial role in overcoming the stun effect from Soloist Horn, making him a valuable option for teams that need both survivability and healing to maintain control during the fight. By adjusting pet choices and focusing on damage or healing support, teams can effectively counter the new challenges presented by Maestro's minions. In conclusion, the battle against Maestro's minions, especially the soloist horn, presents a unique challenge that requires a shift in strategy. Relying on the usual protection from heroes like Sebastian or pets like Chorus will not be enough to counter horn's powerful stun effect. Instead, incorporating healers like Martha, Thea, or Celeste, and adjusting your pet choices to focus on damage or healing, will be essential to overcoming these obstacles. Pets like Albus, Merlin, and Oliver offer great potential to boost your team's effectiveness and keep them in the fight against Maestro. Now, it's your turn? Share your thoughts and strategies in the comments. Have you discovered other ways to counter Horn or Maestro's minions? We'd love to hear your experiences and suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, strategies, and tips as we continue to tackle the newest challenges in Hero Wars. Remember, Guardians of Dominion, with the right strategy, there's no obstacle too great to overcome. Let's conquer Maestro together. Salute and friendship.